What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today and today I am going to make a quick video and this time I genuinely mean it. It will be a quick video. I'm, I've am i been meaning to start a series, I don't know, something called ecological mycology or some ecological mycology tips because you know in this hobby there's a lot of like single-use products that we use, you know, petri dishes, Right up until very recently, there wasn't an option of reusable petri dishes. There is now. Check out Micropose, ten percent off with the code Mycophilia. They have PP5 autoclavable petri dishes out. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, so that's just to illustrate like how you know there's a lot of disposable stuff. Another thing is foil. We use a lot of foil in this hobby. So I want to show you guys how you can reuse it, when you can reuse it. Uh, etc so yeah there's a bunch of other stuff like for example gloves we use it there's also masks so eventually i want to get talking about those topics as well so anyways but today we're talking about petri dishes so you know when you make your agar right sometimes you might pour a little bit too much and you might have like a plate or two or hopefully not more but possibly more left over right after your pour and so you know a lot of people would just say okay that's done you know, I'm, I'm, that's just a waste, right? It's finished. But over the last year, I have been saving up for this. So every time I had like some extra plates, then I would actually wrap them up and then I would put them inside this little sleeve here um, so that I could someday hopefully do this to experiment. So uh, this is actually a first run. So I'm gonna show, give you guys all the updates and see if this works out. So here's my plan, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to as you can see, it's wrapped in, in uh, cling cling wrap. So, you know, it's hopefully nothing is inside. So what I'm going to do is once I get everything set up for a pour in my still air box, right? You know, I get all these guys out, put them into stacks and everything. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra step. And that extra step is to take my disinfectant. In this case, it's hypochlorous acid. And I'm going to spray them down with the wrapper still on so that I don't get any hypochlorous inside. Hopefully, you know, because they've been wrapped inside the sab, so hopefully there's minimal contaminants that can potentially contaminate these guys later on. I just, I'm just gonna hypochlorous everything with the wrapper on. Uh, after I finish doing that, then I will take the wrapper off. And then I will start my pour as usual, right? So that's the only extra added step that I'm going to do. Now, I don't really plan on filming the whole thing because I, it's really simple. It's just spray each individual plate front and back before I start my pour. That's it. Everything else is the same as any agar pour. If you do it in front of a flow head, you know, do do your regular, do your regular agar pour ritual, right? Uh, so that's the only difference. So I will give you guys an update in a couple of days after, uh, you know, everything is solidified and if there are any contaminants they have a chance to appear so i will see you guys in a couple of days so i am back it has been about a day and a half since i poured these plates um everything went well everything went to plan and as you guys can see they're in the sab first of all they're in the sab still and that's just because i haven't put them away because i want to show you guys how they look right now because this is not normal right this is not how i usually pour my plates and store them i don't spread them out like this plate by plate i stack them right and as you usually do as well um so why am i doing this well it's because before as i if you guys remember you know i told you guys that before i'm going to use these plates i'm going to spray each plate front and back with hypochlorous so i did it up here each plate i would just spray once spray it down again with hypochlorous and then I would put it in the sab right and then I would stack them and do my regular pour right just go like this go like that you know etc so um so that's why I put them out like this so that they can dry afterwards so after I wrapped them up then I just left them like this let them dry for a couple of hours uh the next morning I flipped them around so that the bottom can dry um so they're all fully dry now because I don't want them like I don't want accidentally for some of the hypochlorous to get in to through the seal to seep through the seal which can happen um, but so far so good but then again it's only been a day and a half so ultimately what I want to see over the coming days if, is if we get some contamination on these plates and I'm sure I'll, there there's probably going to be some contamination uh, although who knows right maybe there's none um, so to ultimately see whether it's worthwhile to do something like this to save your old plates wrap them up you know make a stack 
and see if it's uh if, if it's worthy so yeah i will hit you guys back up in a couple of days all right guys i am back it has been over three days now uh, because i originally poured these guys on f friday and today is monday so it's been a couple of days and at this point if i should have had some contamination they should most likely be showing at this point uh, especially if it's like bacteria should have long been showing already so I actually took a look through through every single one of these before filming and I can tell you right now there is no contamination at all which is way better than I actually expected. So I'm going to give you guys a few samples like over here, right, no contam at all, you know, over here, no contam at all, you know, it just goes through, let me get, take some in the middle to show you guys, to show you guys that I'm not lying. There is literally no contam at all. That thing there, that's not contam, that's just like an air bubble. I've looked through each of them very, very, very carefully. Over here. See, that's just condensation on the lid. You know, this is just a little discoloration, but no actual contamination. So that's what I like to see. And I'm very happy. And these plates are effectively ready to be used now. So as I said, this is way better than I expected because some of these plates have been inside the sleeve for over a year. Well, not for over a year, but around a year, right? The oldest ones at least. And I was I was worried because, okay, you know, I'm gonna be handling it more. You know, I'm gonna be wrapping it, right? Uh, twice in total before I even get to use it. So that's just, you know, increasing more contamination vectors. But thankfully there has been no issues. So yeah, it really helped. What I think what really helped was spraying each one down with hypochlorous acid, or if you use alcohol, use alcohol once, one spray here, one spray there, you know, and then put it directly into the sab, right? One spray here, one spray here, put it in the sab and so forth. And uh, yeah, so, so far so good. So here is the ecological uh, mycology tips episode one. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys more in these series. Hope you guys have a great day or night. Bye-bye.